So story time, I was talking to my baby's father the other day and what he told me absolutely confirms for me that these men be knowing that they be wasting your time. And not only that, but they do it in a systematic way that keeps you stuck. In this conversation, and just a little backstory on us. This, my baby's father, uh, we had been together for a little over three years, living together. We had a child together. I have two children from a previous marriage. And one of the things that we argued about constantly was his lack of investment, you know, time wise. Um, you know, setting things up like, you know, insurance and those types of things, because essentially I am a stay at home mom with a business. And while he did pay the household bills as far as the mortgage and, you know, the utilities and stuff, I was responsible for taking care of child care, you know, the kids, the extracurriculars, decor, food, repairs, um, investments, vacation, you know, all of that stuff to the tune of about seven grand a month in bills on my side. However, I was also responsible for over 90% of the household chores. So cooking, cleaning, um, he never cooked any meals. He never, you know, cleaned anything, laundry, all that good stuff. Everything fell on me. And by the way, I also homeschooled the kids. So in this conversation, we were talking about the situation between one of his homeboys and his girlfriend of over 10 years. And y'all, they got like five, six kids. She just recently had a baby like a year ago who's about the same age as my baby. And my baby's father asked him, you know, when are you gonna marry her? Are you ever gonna get married to her? Yeah, can y'all believe this Nick Nog said that he didn't wanna be forced into anything <laughs> after like 10, it gotta be 10, 12 years and like five or six kids. And after saying this, the friend asked my baby father's, where are you gonna marry Lorraine? And he was like, well, yeah, I'd marry her tomorrow. Like after I realized everything, you know, that it's worth and, you know, all that stuff out in the streets wasn't worth anything. Uh, yeah, I'd marry her tomorrow. And listen at this that came out of my baby's father's mouth. He told him that the only reason that his girlfriend of 10 odd years cannot leave him or is not leaving him or is putting up with the crap is that she cannot stand on her own like Lorraine can. Meaning that this woman was basically stuck because she couldn't afford to leave with five kids and over 10 years invested. So they know, okay, they know. Stop letting these fools play in your face and waste your time and waste your youth and pump you full of babies. Because when I tell you this man, my ex, was avoiding as much responsibility as he could while I was still there, I'm letting you know that it was not until I left, until he started talking about buying rings and getting married and 401ks and protecting us with life insurance policies and all the things that a woman should have if she's investing her time, energy, and life into your household and into your children. So be ready to go, ladies, and stop having babies that you can't afford to take care of all by yourself. And for you goody two-shoes in the back talking about that's why you don't have no babies out of wedlock. I'm talking to you too because it ain't no better. And maybe one day I'll share with you the story of one of my friends who was dating a married guy. And when that guy died, he changed the beneficiary on his life insurance policies to the girlfriend, change it from his wife to the girlfriend on his deathbed, ladies. Okay. So, so make sure you protect yourself because it's real out here. So make sure you protect yourself because it's real out here.